So yesterday I created the WooCommerce shop landing page and I was like, yes, everything is done. It's all good, but I forgot one thing. And instead of me trying to explain this to you, let me show you what I really forgot. So when we take a look here at this page, in fact, this is what we designed yesterday. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. I'll show you exactly step-by-step step how I designed this landing page. So anyway, I digress. So this is the page that we designed. As I was uh, going through this, I said, you know what? Let me click on one of these products. So when I clicked on it, you see that? That design does not look good at all. I'm sure you can agree with me. So what we're going to do today is we are going to change this design. In fact, we're going to redesign this page and turn it into this beautiful page. As you can see, there's a massive transformation. This looks way, way, way much better. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today, step by step. But before we get started, as you can see here, we have this header area. Okay, and when I scroll, it shrinks a little bit. And then all the way down here, we also have a footer. This is from my Genesis templates. It just saves you a lot of time trying to design your headers and footers every time you design your website. This template is highly customizable. You can go in, change colors, very easy to use. And I also have, I also have a video which shows you how to go in and customize it. So go ahead, purchase it. It's only $7. Yes, $7. Come on, you can use it on as many websites as you want. It will save you time, trust me. All right, now before we begin, if you haven't bought Divi yet, and after watching this, you really like Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to that course absolutely free. This course costs 497. So as soon as you buy Divi using my affiliate link, let me know and I will give you access to that course. And this will teach you how to design professional looking websites using Divi. All right, guys, let's get started. Let me show you how to design this landing page. So when you first look at this product page, it's very tempting to want to start customizing it by going straight into the visual builder. So let me show you why this is not the right way to do it. So if I click here on enable visual builder, it is now going to give us the ability to pretty much customize what's on our page here. So as you can see, now the builder has been activated, but I only have access to specific items on the actual page. Now, this is not what we are actually looking for. So you can see here, if I go into this module, now this is our add to cart settings. This only gives me access to our add to cart settings, but it doesn't give me control over the actual page itself. So this is not how we want to do it. So now let me show you the proper way of actually doing this. So I'm gonna come back over here to the dashboard. I'm gonna click on discard and exit. And then I'm gonna come all the way down here to Divi Theme Builder. Now on the Theme Builder, now the really cool thing about the Theme Builder is when you install WooCommerce, it's going to know that you have WooCommerce installed and then give you that option to customize the pages for you. So if I click here on this plus button and start scrolling, I am going to get the option of WooCommerce. So you can see here we have WooCommerce pages. So we can actually customize the shop, which we did in the previous video, the cart itself, the checkout page, the My Account page, and so on. But what we're looking for here is the product page. So I'm gonna click here on All Products, Create Template. We can click on Add Custom Body, because this is where we're going to be building the layout for our page. So I'm gonna click here on Build Custom Body, and we're going to design all this from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on build from scratch. Now here, I'm gonna go with a single column and then I'm just gonna close that and go to our section settings. Now over here, I just wanna add a background color. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add my background color. So I'm gonna go with this really dark gray here. Next, I'm gonna come over here to the th third tab uh, because this is where we need to add our image. So, but the way we're going to add our image here is that we're going to add it as a dynamic image. So it's gonna go in as a featured image. So the image that we're going to have on the product is the image that's gonna show here on the main header area. All right, so now that we've added that, the next stage now is to come all the way down here to our blend mode and then we're gonna go with overlay. So what's gonna happen now is when we take a look at our product, it's gonna show uh, a little bit of our image with, um, with an overlay on top of it to make our text much easier to read. So now I can save. Next, I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a text module, select that. Now here on our text module, again, we are going to make this dynamic. So I'm gonna click here and then choose post or archive title and then Click on this little gear icon and then on the before and after, I'm just gonna add my, my uh, header 
code here because ideally I want this text to be uh, heading one. Now I can save. Next, I'm gonna come over here to design because this is where now we're gonna customize this text. So I wanna go to heading text and we know it's heading one. And here now I can actually make this bold and change our font to play fair display. In fact, you know what? I'm just may leave it as regular. And then over here now, I just need to increase the size. I know we can't really see it here. So I'm gonna change the color here to this white. Then just make this really big. So I'm gonna go with, let's go with 70. But what we're gonna do is while we're here, we might as well go into our mobile views. So I'm gonna go to tablet. So here on the tablet, I can see it's uh, a bit too big. So I'm gonna reduce it down to about two. And then on the phone, bring this down to about 32. But uh, I've just noticed that my line height here doesn't look right. So I'm just gonna increase this a little bit. So let's go with 1.3. And again, I wanna make sure that this line height looks great on all devices and it does. All right, great. So pretty much I have my heading here. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save this. Now the next stage is to start adding all our products. Uh, or our information for our products. So I'm gonna click here on add new section and I'm just gonna go with regular. Now here I'm gonna go with, um, you know what? Let's go with two equal columns. Now on the left column here, I'm gonna add a woo image. So here I'm just gonna search for woo image. Now the really cool thing about um, these modules is it knows what the product is if you leave this uh, set to this product. So I'm gonna leave it as it is and then click on save. Now over here, we're going to add a few modules. So first of all, let's go with the actual product name. So I'm gonna go with Woo Products. In fact, you know what? Let's search for it here. No, Woo Title, that's what I'm looking for. It's gonna save that. Next, we're gonna add our Woo Description. So this is going to be the description for our actual product. I'm gonna select Woo Description, save that. We also need a an add to cart. So let's search for woo, add to cart, great. So we're actually adding all our components in here because we're going to need this when we save our page. And when someone lands on this page, they're going to be able to uh, pretty much add all these products much easier to the cart. So I wanna save that and then, in fact, you know what? This woo add to cart here is not the one I'm looking for. Anyway, you know what? I'm gonna test this and see if this is the actual, if, if this is the actual one that we're looking for. In fact, let me save this. And then I'm just gonna close out of this and then just do a quick test. So I'm gonna save changes. And then in a new tab, I'm just gonna open one of my products here and just take a look at what we've designed so far. So yes, things are looking great. We can see here we have this uh, image here in the top and we also have our description and our add to cut. So our add to cut button here is looking great. While I'm on this page, I can actually see we have a lot of white space here. So we may want to uh, do something about this, add more information here just to balance the page a little bit. So back over here, I'm gonna go back to edit custom body. And before I continue designing, I just wanna make sure that everything looks great on mobile devices. So here I can see the top is fine, our product name, add to cart. So everything here looks seems okay. Right, so let's continue designing our page. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and this time I need a divider. So the divider here is what's gonna separate our top information from the related products. So I'm not gonna customize this yet. Let's go ahead and add who related. There we go. So here I'm gonna have three products and three columns. Save that. So on the left here, I guess what we can also do is to add something to do with reviews. So maybe someone has seen this product and they want to add a review. Let's add that on there. So let's see if we can find a review. Yes, we'll reviews. Great, so we can add that on there. So now this page is really populated and it has quite a lot of information now. So what we're gonna do next is we are going to go in now and start customizing all our text and make it look great. So let's start here with our product name. So here we're gonna go in and change this. So now that I've selected my Woo title settings, I'm just gonna go over here and choose my font and it's gonna be player fair display make the text bigger and let's play around with the colors here and see if our colors will match. And I think this color here works fine for that. And then I'm also gonna double check and make sure everything looks great on the tablet. And I think that looks great. All right, so let's just continue here and start working on our description text. So I'm gonna click here on the gear icon, go to design text, 
change this to poppins. We're going to increase the size here a little bit to maybe 17. And let's add some line height. So for line height, I'm going to set this to 1.8. And for our text, we're going to go with, yeah, we'll go with that. Save that. Now let's work on our add to cart. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and make sure that this is set to this product because this is what determines what item you're actually uh, working on. All right, so over here now, I am going to customize our cart settings. So I'm gonna start here with this, uh, you know, that thing where you add more products on. So let's go to the field background. So I'm gonna go with, now let's go with this color. So like I said, you know, this is a matter of just experimentation and just uh, playing around with these colors and see which one actually works. So the field text color, Let's go with, okay, we're gonna go with that. And then the padding should be fine. And what am I looking for here? I'm looking for the rounded corners. I prefer not to have rounded corners here. And also we want the text to change to poppins. There we go. So that's what I was looking for. So pretty much that's, um, that's okay. The next stage is to work on the button. Now this is gonna take us a bit of time because we really need to customize this. So I'm gonna come over here to use custom styles for button to activate. And then I'm gonna start here with my, color for my button text so here I'm not really sure if I'm going to go with a dark color or a light color and again like I said you know it's a matter of just playing around with these colors and seeing what works so let's go with a light color and then let's play around with these colors and see to be honest I think that looks really nice so we're gonna go with this color here so I'm gonna leave that as it is and then over here on the border width yeah we're gonna go with that and then Border radius, totally remove the radius, don't need the radius there. But for our text color, that doesn't look nice. So you know what, we're just gonna go simple and just add white to that. So let's go add white. Okay, so that looks much better. And the animation is pretty cool as well. We're gonna keep it simple. So here's our add to cut. So as you can see, so far, everything looks really custom. And this idea is what you want for your shops. You don't wanna have a shop which pretty much looks like a shop which is your standard, you know, DV layout or even WooCommerce layout. All right, so let's save here. And then next we're gonna go to our divider. So I'm gonna click here on module settings. So all I have to do here on the divider is just to change the color of that. So let's go with that color. Nope, let's go with this one here, save. Next on the related products, we're gonna go into our module settings, design. Now let's take a look at our overlay. So as you can see here, the overlay doesn't look great and it, it doesn't pretty much match with what we had on our page that we designed in the previous video. So what I'm gonna do is my icon color here, I'm gonna set this to white, and I'm also gonna change my icon here to that chain that we had. There we go, so there's my chain, and my overlay background color is going to be this color right here, but of course we want to add some transparency. So I'm gonna drag the slider down here. Yeah, I think that works. Next, uh, let's work on our text here. So we're gonna come over here to related products. So here we are going to go with Playfair display for our titles, I'm gonna choose our color and then over here now for the actual products we're going to use a slightly different color because we don't want to use the same colors throughout this we need to play around with them and see what works so here for the title font we're going to go with the player fair display but this time this is a bit too big so we're going to make this a bit smaller let's go with let's go with 20 maybe 22 okay now let's move on over here to the reviews, if there are any. And for the reviews, we're gonna go with this color here. Then for the price, we're gonna change for our, from our default font to Playfair display, increase the size to about 22, and then let's change our color. So we're gonna go with that for our color. But of course, you can play around with the colors you get from, from this palette here. All right, let's go with that. I know I keep changing my mind as I'm designing this, but of course, this is what happens, you know, when you're designing your products. Sometimes you may make some decisions and change your mind. All right, so over here now, in fact, let's save this. Okay, let's save this one more time. And we're just gonna do a quick preview and see what this looks like so far. So let's see if this is gonna work. If I refresh this, yep, it works. And you can see here now our page is really taking shape. We can see our related products here. The overlay is working. And we also have reviews here, or the option to send some reviews. 
And I think this looks really nice. So as you can see here, our design is really taking shape and this is how you can really customize your products page. But you know what? We're not done yet because we still need to go in and um, we have some work here on the top, on the main area here. I think there's more that we can do here by also adding like maybe some breadcrumbs and then over here on the image itself, in fact, on the reviews here, we can also play around with the design of the reviews here. All right, so let's go back to our builder here and work on that. So first of all, I'm just gonna jump back over here to our main header area here because this is what really jumped, uh, jumped out to me because uh, things are not looking great. In fact, you know what? Let's start by adding our breadcrumbs first. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and we'll breadcrumbs. So now I'm gonna go to design text. I'm gonna change this to pop-ins. I'm gonna make this bigger. So let's go with 18 and let's make this bold. There we go. And now we need to change the color. So we're gonna go with that as our color and then we're gonna save. So that's gonna be our breadcrumb. So pretty much this tells us where we are as we are navigating our website. Now over here on the main um, header, I'm gonna change a few things as well. So I'm gonna change this from regular to bold. And I'm also going to increase the size a little bit here. Let's go with uh, 76 and then save. Now it's time to go into our section settings because here we need to set a height. So we're gonna go, uh, come over here to sizing and let's set our height. So our height here is going to be a fixed height and we're gonna set this to, let's say 480. Let's try 480. Yep, I think 480 looks great. Now, I just wanna make sure that this looks great on tablets as well. So on the tablet here, you can see that looks fine and that looks fine too. So now I'm gonna save. Next, we're gonna come over here to our reviews. And again, we're just gonna go in and make some customizations here to the heading, change this to Playfair display. And there's quite a lot to change here, you know? So we're gonna go over here to the name, change this to Poppins. We're gonna go to the description, change this to Poppins as well. But this time, we change the color, there we go. And then the reviews, we're gonna go with that as our color for our review. See. Okay, we'll go with that for our color. Now you can further customize this. So let's say for example, you want uh, this here to be a circle. You can just click here on this actual image and then you can just say 100 here on our rounded corners and that's gonna give you a full circle. So if the person that has left the review leaves an image or their picture, it's gonna be in a perfect circle. So I think that is, that is a really cool design element there. And then over here, add a review, change this to Playfair display, and then I'm just gonna increase the size. There we go. Now let's work on our submit button. And here on our submit button, to be honest, it just needs to look the same as our button here that we have on our add to cart. But maybe the difference is change the color of the actual button. So let's head over here to the actual uh, text color. And then for our background color, we're gonna add this color right here, border color, border radius, and then for our font, we're gonna set this to Poppins. There we go, that looks much better, save. Now there's also something that I noticed here. So if I go into my row settings, I just wanna increase the width of my row ever so slightly. So I'm gonna come over here to sizing and right now my width is set to 70%. So I'm just gonna make this about 80%. Save changes, we're gonna save the page. Now let's take a look at this design. So I'm gonna refresh the page. Okay, so you can see here our flower here is in the background and this is what our page looks like. So as you can see, this is way much better than what we had before. And there are also other elements that we can add to this product page, you know, to further customize it. So I wanna show you something quickly here. So here we are on this product flower B. So I wanna go to one of my related products. And this is the really cool thing about uh, designing this using the, uh, the Divi Builder template. So if I go to flower C, you're going to notice that the design of now all my products is pretty much gonna be the same. So here on flower C, you can see it has the structure that we've just created in our template. And again, if we go to flower A, it's gonna have our image here. And as I scroll through, you can see that this pretty much now is our new design. All right, so that is how you create your product page using the theme builder. Go ahead, try it out. If you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond and you know help you with everything that you need. And don't forget this header and footer that I uh, showed you, it's from my Genesis template. That template is only $7. So if you wanna go ahead and buy it, Link to that is in the video description below. See you in the next video.